I'm Julie from the Artful Traveler and right now we're in Florida and I've got a really awesome space to work at this RV park. It's called Emerald RV Park. It's in Navarre, Florida. I thought what we would do today is get the alcohol links out and I'll show you just a few different ways to do some different skies. As we travel along, I love to photograph the dramatic skies. I often reference these when I am needing some inspiration for my paintings. So what do you say we get started and paint some skies? Here's the supplies I'm using. I'll have links in the description below. We begin with establishing a horizon. I want it to be low on the page so I have a large area above for the inks to do their magic and flow. With a Prismacolor pencil creating a border, I put in some loose mountains and then a road to create kind of a dramatic perspective coming out towards the bottom of the paper. The inks I will be using are watermelon, salmon, and a cool peri. Now comes the fun part. We'll use isopropyl alcohol to flood the top part of our paper. The Prismacolor pencil has created a barrier so the alcohol stays above. Now we're going to squeeze out lines of ink and move our paper from left to right, blending the inks. We have a lot of alcohol on our page, so I'm going to tilt the paper and let the ink and the alcohol run completely off. Using a brush, a fan brush, I blend and add some dramatic lines. Now I'll use a bulb blower in order to blend the inks even more. This kind of creates the feeling of clouds. I'll put a link for this and some of the other tools I'm using today in the description below. I'm pretty happy with the way this looks. And so now it's time to just let the inks dry. They're gonna to continue to move and as you can see, lighten. But this is a pretty cool dramatic sky. Now it's time to put in our foreground. I'm gonna use espresso and the color oregano. I've mixed up a few additional colors in my palette. Now with a thin brush, I'm gonna establish where the road is, giving that nice perspective. Now let's do the mountains. Using a quarter inch flat brush, I follow along the Prisma color lines and just put in the mountains with some different tones of brown. Be nice to add some greenery in the foreground. Okay, now it's time to add some detail, and my favorite tool is Copic markers. I'm going to use a dark brown and start to kind of establish that road and that perspective back. After adding some detail, I decided to stop because I want to keep this painting simple. I really want it to be about the sky. I think this was successful. How about now we do a stormy sky? Using the Prismacolor pencil, I decide to create a rocky foreground and putting it a little more towards the center of the page. Again, flooding the top with the alcohol 
in the same process we just used. But now I'm going to use black and blue and that peri color to create more of a stormy looking sky. Remember, once you have your inks on, be patient and let them drip and flood and move around. You can use your brush to assist the ink. Here I've put in the deep dark black and I'm just going to move the paper back and forth and now get an air can in order to create some more blends, some more clouds. The air can is a terrific tool. Here are a few tips for using an air can. Number one, don't shake it. It's not spray paint. Use it in short little bursts. And if it gets cold or starts to build condensation up on the tip, just set it aside, let it rest a bit before you're using it again. Here I decided to add alcohol and kind of wipe some of the ink away at the bottom in order to lighten the horizon. I don't know about you, but I love to watch the ink flow. There's something so meditative about it. A common question I get is when to stop. When to stop adding ink, adding alcohol. And you know what? That is really just such a personal decision. But I kind of like how this is looking. Now that the sky is dried, it's time for me to put in the rocky foreground. So using Espresso and a few other browns, I take a credit card that I have cut with some different edges and I put in some lines of ink and I'm going to push this ink around with the credit card, creating some of those hard edged rocks and ledges. This does take a little practice, so I just encourage you to get the card and the inks and go for it. I'm really liking the way this looks, but I think I want to add some gold. Gold is an interesting ink. It's one that is a mixative and you have to shake it. But as you can see here, it is just magical. I hope you're enjoying this content. If you are, I'd love to keep it coming. So subscribe, hit the little bell so you're notified, and leave me some comments. Now back to our painting. When you add alcohol to the gold, it actually separates into some little granulars. And so I'll move my paper around and it'll just give a shimmer to some of those rocks. I am very happy with this dramatic sky and this rocky ledge. Next week we're going to be doing cotton balls, wild cotton balls that I saw as we traveled across Georgia. I hope you join us.